Hello. In this video, I want to have a look at chunking. What is chunking? Why do we do chunking? And how do we do chunking? Chunking is simply breaking a number into more manageable parts. Take the number 125, for example. Or you can break that up into a chunk of 100, plus a chunk of 20, plus a chunk of 5. This is also called partitioning a number, where you've got the hundreds, the tens, and the units. But these parts are more easily handled in mental arithmetic. So that's why we do chunking, so that we can more easily handle the number. If your child comes home and says that they're doing division by chunking, for example, this is what they might want to do. If we take the number 125, divided by 5, we can start to chunk at it. We could say, there's a 100. Well, we know a simple multiple, 10 times 5, is 50. So two of those, 20 times 5, is 100. Then we know 4 times 5 is 20. And we also know 1 times 5 is 5. So therefore we've got 20 times 5, 4 times 5 and 1 times 5. That equals 25. 125 divided by 5 is therefore 25. That's okay mentally. So how are we going to help our child write this down? Let's take that 125 divided by 5. Well, we start off by writing the number down that we want to chunk up. And we know our simple multiple, 10 times 5, is 50. So 20 times 5 is 100. 20 times 5 is 100. We take that chunk away from our number. 0 from 5 is 5. 0 from 2 is 2. 1 from 1 is 0. We then think about another chunk, 20. And we know a simple multiple there. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 5 is 20. We take that chunk away. 0 from 5 is 5. 2 from 2 is 0. And of course the last chunk we can see is 5. 1 times 5 is 5. Take that chunk away and we're left with 0. All you need to do now is add up your multiples. 20, 4, 1 more is 25. So the answer to 125 divided by 5 is 25. So that was a simple division sum. What about a more complicated one? Take the number 365 divided by 16. Quite a difficult division sum. So we write down the number to chunk it up, 365. Well, we know a simple multiple, 10 multiplied by 16, is 160, because we just add the zero. So let's take that chunk away. 0 from 5 is 5, 6 from 6 is 0, 1 from 3 is 2. From 205, we should be able to see that we could take another chunk of 10 16s. 160 away from that 205. 0 from 5 is 5. And let's look at that 16 from 20 is 4. Now we need to think of another simple multiple that we could take away from 45. Well, we know that two 16s would be 32. That's a pretty simple multiple. Let's take that away. 2 from 5 is 3. 3 from 4 is 1. 13, we can't take another 16 away. So let's add up our multiples. 10, 10, 2 is 22. The answer is 22 remainder 13 or 
22 and 13 sixteenths. So I've explained what chunking is, why we do chunking and how we do chunking through a simple sum and a more complex sum. Chunking certainly helps with division and it also helps your mental arithmetic. I think it's a good way to do division. I hope it helps you and helps you help your child. Bye. What the digit two actually stands for? Two units, two tens or two hundreds? Hi, Phil from ed to me here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, click the like button or maybe even subscribe. As always, have a lovely day.